Move any of these surfaces and it becomes clear that what you're seeing is a projected image overlaid on a real-life object. It's called spatially augmented reality, and it's the latest technology being used by researchers at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute to develop video games, learning tools, and even disaster response systems. Using simple cameras, projectors, and laser pointers, assistant professor Barbara Cutler has developed a dynamic projection system that alters the appearance of physical objects and allows multiple users to simultaneously move the projected imagery to help make sense of complex data sets. You can step into an environment where all the surfaces in the room are available to be projected on. We can put data on those surfaces. And you can move those surfaces around. And wherever that surface lands, we can put data on that, on that surface. It could be used for medical visualization. We can put data on that surface. And as you pull the surface around, you'll see different information being displayed. Um, and then we can also start to interact with the display on the surface. While other systems use projections and screen-like surfaces to create alternative visual scenes, Cutler says these environments are static, with a single projector pointing at a fixed object. Cutler is already using the system in some of her classes and says it changes the pace of lessons and empowers students to ask more questions. The system was initially designed with architectural exercises in mind, creating full-size mock-up spaces where an architect and client could see how light patterns would flow inside of a new building. But now Cutler is taking the concept further, collaborating with civil engineers on a new project that will use dynamically projected surfaces to help cope with disasters, such as a levee breach. And then in order to bring things back together again, you're going to need to have experts from those different fields come together. And they're not used to working together um, and may not be familiar with each other's visualizations or the networks. And we'd like to visualize these things on top of each other so that we can um, help them do the best planning about what systems should be repaired. The project is still in development, but Cutler's mix of simple hardware and complex software could soon bring augmented reality systems into the mainstream. Sharon Reich, Reuters. As you can see, these guys.